ABC 7 News has extensively reported on discrimination in the home appraisal process. Now tonight, a look into discrimination against renters in the Bay Area. Black renters in San Francisco are less likely to get responses when applying for a place to live than white renters. That's according to new research findings. ABC 7 News race and culture reporter Julian Glover looks into the issue and what to do if you face discrimination while looking to the Bay Area has long had one of the most competitive and expensive rental markets in the country. Now new research findings show it's even more difficult for black renters to sign a lease in the city. The reason is simple. Because if you don't get a response, you have no way of accessing that property. Peter Christensen, a professor at the University of Illinois, is one of the authors of the study from the National Bureau of Economic Research that found renters of color in America's 50 largest cities are less likely to hear back from rental properties than white renters. In almost all of the markets, both African American and Latinx renters uh, received systematically lower response rates to inquiries to the same properties. Uh, as an inquiry sent from a fictitious white identity. Black renters in San Francisco face the sixth worst response rate in the country in the experiment conducted over a nine month period this year. Discriminatory behavior that is affecting housing access of African American households is pretty strong in San Francisco, less strong in terms of discriminatory behavior affecting housing access of Latinx households. Researchers applied online to thousands of apartment and home rental listings nationwide using software bots and fictitious names associated with black, Hispanic, Latino, and white racial groups to measure the differences in response rates. No income or family status information was included. All of the differences are driven by racialized perceptions on the basis of the names of individuals, fictitious individuals making inquiries. But are you surprised at, I guess, how high San Francisco ranked on this list? It is pretty shocking that it's in the top six. Carolyn Petey is the executive director of the Fair Housing Advocates of Northern California. The nonprofit regularly investigates complaints of rental discrimination in the North Bay. The findings from this new national study mirror the claims she's investigated the last two decades. What's clear is that, that there is so much stereotyping going on. Sometimes it's conscious, sometimes it's not so conscious. Petey said rental discrimination has many forms and can appear in any step in the process. How long it takes for a housing provider to call back, if they're calling back at all, what's being communicated about the availability of one or more units, um, the terms and conditions, the application process. If you believe you face rental discrimination, PD recommends you call your local fair housing agency immediately. The organizations are equipped to run rental testing investigations that collect evidence often necessary when filing complaints with state and federal housing agencies. The complaints can result in compensation or an injunction to allow you to move in. Christensen hopes the study will lead to changes in how housing market platforms operate. How can these platforms be designed in ways that reduce or ideally eliminate discriminatory behavior? Julian Glover. ABC 7 News.